Welcome back. Before we take a look at the day's business news, let's take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. Dubai's inflation rate rose 2.17% in January compared to the same period in 2013, according to Dubai Statistics Center DSE data released on Tuesday. Meanwhile, consumer prices in Abu Dhabi rose 2.1% during the same period. The increase in Dubai's inflation is mainly as a result of a rise in the prices of education at 3.99%, housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuels at 3.87%, and food and non-alcoholic beverages at 3.66%. Other categories that saw increases were health at 2%, alcoholic beverages and tobacco at 1.65%, furnishings, household equipment, and routine household maintenance at 0.98%, and transport at 0.78%. Inflation rate fell for clothing and footwear by 2.80% and communication by 0.07%. In terms of monthly performance, the inflation rate in Dubai rose 0.49% in January compared to December 2013 and was driven by an increase in the prices of housing, water, electricity, gas, and other fuels. Prices of education, alcoholic beverages, and tobacco remained stable. In Abu Dhabi, consumer prices rose 2.1% in January compared to the same time in 2013, which is reflected by the rise in the Consumer Price Index CPI from 123.5 points to 126.0. According to the latest data by Statistics Center Abu Dhabi, the largest rise in prices were recorded for the food and non-alcoholic beverage group, which accounted for 30.7% of consumer consumer inflation year on year vegetables increased by 19.6% fish and seafood by 18.7% Rental values in Abu Dhabi soared by 9% in the fourth quarter of 2013 as annual rises averaged 16% in the UAE capital According to its latest Abu Dhabi market view, real estate consultancy CBRE said that rent increases were the highest for one-bedroom units, which jumped 11% in the three months to December 31. CBRE said growth in the Abu Dhabi residential sector was highly fragmented last year, adding that the recovery is expected to gather further momentum over the next 12 months as the impact of the recent rent cap removal is felt. The CBRE report said that the rental gap between properties location off island and those in on island locations remains firmly intact, with apartments in off island locations 44% cheaper than those on the main island. The average annual rental for a two bedroom apartment unit off island is now 66,500 dirhams per annum. This compares with 115,000 dirhams per annum on island. Over 1.5 million passengers flew through Abu Dhabi International Airport in January 2014, marking a 14.5% increase in passenger traffic over the same period last year, according to figures released by Abu Dhabi airports. Aircraft traffic also registered an increase of 7.7% compared to January 2013 to reach a total of 11,972 movements. Meanwhile, 58,114 tons of cargo was handled last month, marking an 18.9% hike over the same month last year. According to aviation experts quoted in local reports, a large part of these passenger number increases is down to the strategy of Etihad to increase its strategic partnerships and code share arrangements with other airlines, which now total 43 across the globe. The top five routes from Abu Dhabi International Airport during January were Bangkok, Jeddah, Doha, Manila, and London Heathrow. A statement released by the airport body revealed that over 16.5 million passengers flew through it during 2013, marking a 12.4% increase over 2012. The current expansion of the airport is expected to increase its overall capacity to more than 40 million passengers per year. And Air Arabia has announced a net profit of 435 million dirhams for the 2013 financial year, a 2% increase compared to the same period in 2012. 
The Sharjah-based budget carrier said the slight increase in profit was due to its network expansion strategy, having launched eight new destinations in 2013. Turnover for the full year ending December 31, 2013 was 3.2 billion dirhams, up 14% on the same period in 2013. In the last quarter of the year, Air Arabia reported a 94 million dirham net profit for the 2013 fourth quarter, up 12% compared to the 84 million dirhams reported in the same 2012 period. The airline's turnover for the 2013 fourth quarter was 811 million dirhams, an 8% increase, compared to 753 million dirhams reported in 2012. The airline continues to fly more passengers each year, with 6.1 million passengers traveled with it in 2013, a 15% increase compared to the 5.3 million passengers carried in 2012. It also maintained an 80% seat load factor throughout 2013. Air Arabia's board of directors has proposed a dividend distribution of 7.25 wheels per share, which is subject to ratification by Air Arabia shareholders.